Away from that, the Federal Ministry of Education has given go-ahead for resumption of JS3 and XS3 classes in secondary schools. Only SS3 classes will resume in Lagos in Ogun State as well. Lagos Education Commissioner Falashade Adefish Sayo and Special Advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Education Ronke Shombo confirmed resumption for only senior secondary three pupils. AKC Education Commissioner Folusho Daramola said a decision would be taken about whether Junior Secondary School 3 classes would resume after a meeting with Governor Kayade Fayemi. In Ogun State, the SA on Education said schools considered to be high risk would not be allowed to reopen. She said they would be identified through their responses documented on the online school reopening form. Schools have until Friday evening to fill and submit the form online. Federal government colleges would resume August the 4th for senior secondary three uh, students only. The Director of Press and Public Relations Federal Ministry of Education, Ben Gong, said the PTF announcement on whether junior secondary school three people, students would resume would be made available on Thursday. Joining us live to take a look at this is Kaede Saloko, who is a school proprietor. Good to have you, Kaede. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Now, how, how do you yeah, feel? You for the program. Great. How, how do you feel, you know, about this whole conversation with the federal government finally giving a go ahead for the partial reopening of schools, at least for final year students to write their exams? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, the, the government always our preference for whatever decision. Um, it tries to come up with concerning any social issue. But obviously, we all know that the school system in Nigeria has been badly affected. A lot of children um, now have psychological issues, especially those of them that are preparing. They were already preparing for, to write their final exams before the coronavirus lockdown situation. Um, telling the final year to go back to write their exams is a welcome development. Um, in my own thinking, I think time given, the time given by the government for them to prepare before the exam will start is too short. Mm -hmm. It's too short. If I had my way, I would have preferred that the government gives them a month, four weeks, before the commencement of the YX exams. But being it as you say, I am not the government, and I am not in line of their thinking. The government was have sat down with the West African examination body to think critically about some of these things before they, before they came out with the, the this calendar they have come up with. Mm -hmm. Kade, but I... what I want to advise, is that any student, any white student or Becker student that is serious enough and conscious of the fact that he has an examination to write should have been preparing for the student. Yes, this school was not down, but some of these teachers, the capacity of these teachers, which is true, you know, of private Please, I have not been locked down. So, any children, SST and just should have been in contact with one or two of these teachers, um, relating with them, communicating with them, and also preparing. Mm. Can I interject there? Um, I mean, I yeah. hear, uh, hear what she's saying, and especially the concern around the timing now that yeah. it's just got uh, less than a month, if you like, to write these exams. Now, is this yes. a total resignation to the will of the federal government, if you like, uh, to just agree and settle with this date? Or are you going to push for maybe a change of dates? What, what would happen? Well, um, if I were to be the education minister, I would uh, um, look at this particularly as a parent that I am, telling the school to propose on August 4th for the exam 
start on the 17th of August. To me, it's too short, so I would have, I would have pushed for, um, you know, a further day. A bit. Hmm. As I've said, 30 days for the school to be open, to continue to prepare the students for the exam would have been ideal enough. But tell them, tell the school to be open for August, for the exam to be about 11 to 30, 40 days. After, to me, it's too short. Sure. Sure. But think, the student effects, those who are skilled enough, should have been preparing themselves, reading, working so hard, while they are still under the government to make sure that they prepare. They prepare and are on their own because they are the ones that are writing the exam. Not the middle of the decision. All right. And not the federal government. So, the student, every student, every candidate for the exam that is serious enough, shouldn't have done the sleeping and rest at all. They should have been preparing because they should know that the school student cannot close down for them. All right, Kyle, let's digress a bit. Let's digress. The government can open any time. Or call them to come and write the exam anytime. So they are have preparing. I expect any serious student to have been preparing for two. Okay, if we move forward a bit uh, from that uh, thought now, uh, yeah. let's digress just a little bit. I want to ask you, how have you been coping, you know, including your teachers who have technically been out of jobs, if you like, in the last five months? Uh, speak to us about that reality, please. Well, it has been very, it has been very, very difficult um, for the school owner, especially in the private uh, school system sector. Those of us who run private school, who are in the private uh, school system sector, are finding it very, very tough. Because if you don't render the habits, parents won't think of paying the tuition fees of their children. You know, it's a service uh, rendering sector where the children have to be in school, the parents have to be sure that the school is not a service to their children before they will be thinking of paying you. So you have to render the service before you can expect payment. And when you don't render the service, parents will think of paying for it. So it has been very difficult, especially our private school teacher. Mm -hmm. Since we are not getting money, nobody has been paying us. So we do not have the money. To pay out. In the past five months, I have not been making anything from this at all. How do I pay my teachers? So it has been very difficult. And that brings me to my next question, uh, Kayade. Yeah. I know that yeah. most of you teachers, and very respectfully, would say that you know um, your your calling, uh, what you do, is a vocation as teachers. And as we do know, I mean, we owe them a lot. You're passionate people as well. But having yeah. said all of this, in the in you know all that is happening, not being able to get what is due you in terms of financial uh, your payments, I'm wondering yeah. how mentally and psychologically disposed would this teachers be now that you're talking about having to go back and prepare you know take uh, for the students to take exams are they really uh, truly psychologically and mentally prepared for this a, a, a lot of them are psychologically devastated right now the morale is low if i were telling us now is that it is a money, no pay situation so we have also been telling the president if your children must come back to school to come and prepare for the exams and eventually write to them, then you must pay us for the first time. So the private school owners are asking the parents to pay the tuition fee of the children that are coming back, the students that are coming back for the because at first time, they are coming back for the They are coming to resume for the first Certain academic uh, activities work. So they are going to pay us for the top 10 
for us to make the teachers that are going to be resuming to prepare their children for the exams and eventually be with them and monitor them to do their work. So the next have to do the required examination period. Hmm. So the teacher are categorically down, the proprietor are categorically down, because when they are no money, nothing moved. Nothing is happening. So money takes still move. Only make it happen. So right. the teachers are categorically down. And what we are going to do is to assure them that as soon as school reopens, these children come back to school, we will be able to get money from parents to be able uh, to intervene in their conditions. Kaede, I can imagine that it's a tough place to be at this time. I wish we had more time to continue this conversation. Thank you so very much for your time, and we will invite you again to progress this conversation uh, thank, in the future. And do keep safe out there, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.